everyone, so today I am doing a chit chat get ready with me and I saw a picture on Tumblr that I really wanted to recreate so I'm going to do that today because I'm just bored, like I've been editing all day and I wasn't going to film today but then I was just bored, felt like putting on makeup. You guys know how it is. I want to show you this, um, I'll put on a primer first but I want to show you this. I got this recently, this is the Leo Ali Moist Beam Cushion Pack and my colour is in... I actually don't know. I don't know if this is the colour. This is what it says on the back. It says C304. So I'm not sure if that's it. But basically, it looks like this. And then it's real weird. Like, you have to push on the sponge to get the makeup out. Like, it's real bizarre. But I really like it. I've used it a couple of times. And, yeah, I really like it. And I feel like it would be ultimate... Wait, I'll tell you more in a second. I'm going to start with my Leo Ali Be My Skin Primer. Um, I like this. I don't know how much. It's very brightening. Um, so that's good. Let's get my hair out of my face. I'm just gonna massage this all over. It's a like pink toned primer and it's got like little iridescence in it so it just makes your skin really really glowy which I'm a fan of as of lately. I used to be all about the matte look and now I'm all about the healthy glow. Especially with my blonde hair. Like when I had brown hair it was just like I was so pale and I just liked a matte look. I didn't like my skin stand out too much but now I just love you know, having that glow about me. So after that, I look pretty dead. My face looks really pale. I take my beauty blender, and I like to use a beauty blender with this. You can use a foundation brush. I've used my flat top brush with this, but I find that this is just the perfect combination for someone that's in a hurry. And that's why I wanted to show it to you. So like, if you are a mum, or a business lady, or a working lady, or a school person, you need to get out of the door as fast as you can, and you want to have some coverage, this is it. Sorry about my hair, I um, didn't want to really heat process my hair too much today, so I just kind of strained it minimally. My fringe wasn't cooperating, so I like chucked it up, and it's still like bending all funny. Oh my gosh. It's just the story of my life, bad hair days. Anyway, so you have it. You have your damp beauty blender. And then I just push it in a couple of times and then pat it on my face. The coverage is like really good for how fast it is. You can build it up, but if you just chuck it on with a like thin layer, it's like probably light to medium coverage. If you've got really good skin already, this is like perfect probably. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about is how long it'll last. So we'll soon find out. Because I feel like they just can't put much like much product in here. And I can't see on the back like how many mils or grams or whatever in it so that's what's concerning me right now but the rest of it I like so that there is like one layer I guess and that's all I'm gonna do because I find that it's enough coverage um, and then I'm going to conceal and set the foundation I haven't tried this concealer yet so we're gonna give it a go this is the healthy mix concealer by bourgeois and I got this off, I think, NZ Sale or something like that. They had a bourgeois sale recently. I posted about it on Facebook. Okay, so, ooh, it's weird. It's got, like, a little, like, lip gloss <laughs> applicator to the end of it. I'm just going to, whoops, I don't know if that's too much or not. Pat that on there. I'm going to use my angled XO Beauty face brush. And then just put that underneath my eyes and on top of my eyelids too. Oh no, that looks quite good actually. I thought it was going to be a little bit too dark, but it's not. That was in the shade 52. And I have some breakouts on my chin, which is so much fun. Now I'm going to take my Bourjois Healthy Mix Powder, and this is in the shade 53. Now I'm using my Leo Ali setting spray. And I like to just go back over with my beauty blender. It doesn't really have any foundation on it, but I just like to use it to bounce down um, that setting spray and make it blend in really nicely. Otherwise, what can happen with setting sprays, um, it can actually lift up the little hairs on your face. You don't want visible hair. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to start off by priming my lids and because this has got some bright colour I want it to be bright so I'm going to start with my Sedona Lace Stick It To Em Primer. And this is just going to make sure that your eyeshadows don't crease and they're going to last all day and be a little bit more intense. But I want them to be even more intense so I'm using a white base in a second. And then I'm taking NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Dark Brown and this is going to go in the outer V and slightly into the crease. EXO Beauty Synthetic Blending Brush and I'm just going to blend that out and because it's a synthetic brush it means it'll blend it out without ruining like the brush hairs and it'll be a lot smoother than using a brush like this for example. Once those are on, I'm going to start working on the eyeshadows. So I've got this colour here, which is by MAC, and it's like a bright orange, and it's called Rule. I'm going to place this on like the outer kind of third. So like right in before where we put that brown base. Once you've got that on, take your yellow. And I'm taking this colour here by Sweet Pea and Fur Cosmetics, and it's called Okie Dokie. This is just going to go to like halfway or just over halfway because we're going to put white on the inner corner and just on the lid. So you want a little bit of lid space left. Now is the time for a brush like this. You can just blend that line very lightly just to blend those two colours together. You don't want to fade the colours so just blend very very lightly. I'm going to be placing the white last because I don't want to blend out the white and get any like other colours mixed in with it. So I'm going to put the crease colour in now. This is optional but I'm going to start out with a lighter brown and then I'm going to build my way up to a darker one. Just so I know what intensity I want. So this is Omega by MAC. And this is just going to go in the crease and like on the outer kind of V area. Now that I'm happy with that kind of shape, I'm taking this really dark warm brown out of this Gadi or some people. Okay, I researched online and I found a blog and the person said you pronounce it like G-A space D-E, like Gadi. And then I have other people say it is pronounced Jade, which is what I initially thought um, because it's spelled G-A-D-E. But I don't know. So Gadi, Jade, something. I don't know what it is, but I'm using this colour here. And this is in the Honey Glow palette and it's beautiful. I need to do a tutorial using it because I wore it yesterday for the first time and it was just stunning. Now with this look, there will be quite a dramatic eyeliner, so I'm going to put some dark colour underneath the lash line. I'm going to use that same colour that I just used, and that's just going to go underneath. Okay, so the last step, of course, is the white, and this is just going to make the eye look pop and make it look a lot more dramatic. If you want to do this look and you don't want it to be so out there and scary, you could just leave it as it is or just put like a skin tone kind of highlight colour in there rather than a pure matte white. I'm going to try out the white out of my Runway by NYX palette and it's the Caviar and Bubbles colour set. This is a really good white. Like it's very pigmented. So obviously I just put that wherever there's no yellow. So just in that very inner corner and blending it up onto the lid slightly. I'm just going to go back in with that yellow and just press a little bit more on top just to make sure it's as vibrant as I can get it. I'm yet to do a tutorial using just this palette by NYX but I'm so excited to do it because so far the colours are just like amazing and I really if I like the other like the pigmentation of the other colours I'm definitely going to get more because they're like really affordable for how many colours you get. Okay, so that is the eyeshadows done. I always seem to have one eye that looks way better than the other. Like this one looks way better than that one. And like the eyelashes on this eye are way better than those ones. I'm going to try this e.l.f. Precision Liquid Eyeliner. It's the studio one. 
and I've been wanting to try it because I like their $1 ones so I want to see if this one's better. So that's all I'm doing for the eyeliner. I'm not winging it out. I just did a really thin line on top of my lashes to make them look really nice and thick. And now I'm taking my NARS pencil eyeliner and this one is in Larger Than Life. I always think of, is it Westlife or Backstreet Boys? Who did that song? I hope it was one of them, otherwise that's an epic fail. <laughs> but yeah, I'm using this on my waterline and it's just like a gold colour. I was kind of tied between doing like black or gold or white or nude, but I just feel like using gold, so. I'm going with it, otherwise I think I'd go with black. Might just mix that with a bit of black to make myself feel better. So there's kind of like a metallic black look going on. Okay, I actually really like the way that came out. <laughs> it's got like a little kind of like shimmery look on my lash line and then the black smokiness in the lashes. Okay, now it's time for mascara and falsies. The falsies I'm going to use are the Demi Wispies to do. So very quite natural ones. You could go dramatic as heck with this look or you could just keep it natural like I am today. These lashes are so little and cute. Pretty much like almost the same length as my lashes, but these are just gonna give me like triple the volume. Okay, so that's what the eyes look like so far. They're like uber dramatic and obviously the lash glue is still drying so we're gonna move on to the rest of the face while we wait for that. I'm starting off by using my Tarte Park Air Princess Bronzer. This is my EXO Beauty Powder Brush. For blush, I'm going to use this one by, let's just call it Jade, because two people have said that on my videos and the rest have said nothing. So we'll try calling it Jade, see what people say. Um, this is the Jade Blush in Celestial. Celestial? It's so pretty. I like usually don't wear blushes this kind of colour, but oh my goodness. And then I've got to highlight, so I'm using my Stila Kid and Duo and I'm using the more brown side rather than the light pink. So the goldy kind of pink colour. And I'm putting that on the top of my cheeks. Okay, lips. I'm going to go with nude because I don't want to disrupt everything else that is going on on the face. So there are the finished eyes and the loops so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um let me know what kind of looks you'd like to see next send me pictures on instagram and on facebook and on twitter and i'll save them to my files and might come across it next time i decide to do a tutorial have a really good day and i'll talk to you soon bye